Okay, great. Well, um, I've, I've had the opportunity to work on Tron at Disney, and the 1982 movie was not only one of the early films to explore virtual worlds, it was also about hacking and security software. And even, you know, the program of Tron, which you may remember, exclaimed, I fight for the user. Uh, we often see hackers portrayed in a negative light, but the work you do seems to defy that generalization. What are some of the ways hackers are working for good and how is their culture making a positive impact on technology? So first, you should just know a uh, fangirl moment. I'm a huge Tron fan and um, uh, that kind of, uh, you know, Tron visual from the 80s movie and the, the you know, quote, I fight for the user was a, a mantra and motto for our team. Um, and my team was a team of kind of hired hackers who are working on security. So like definitely a lot of resonance there. Um, and I, I work with a ton of people that identify as white hat hackers. And so yes, they are, they are skilled in being able to find holes in software and find ways to use software systems in ways that weren't intended, like they weren't built for that, but they use that knowledge to actually make the systems more secure and oftentimes will, you know, um, use that knowledge to, to share with the people who built the system and say, hey, like, did you realize this can happen? Like, you should plug that hole, you know, use that knowledge to actually build in better defenses. And, and we definitely talk about knowing how offensive security can work and how to attack systems so that you can actually build better defenses. Um, at Google and, and in Chrome, we have a number of um, programs uh, where we uh, you know, encourage researchers around the world to share vulnerabilities, to share exploits, and then we actually pay them money um, or rewards. And, and it varies based on the severity of the security issues they find, but it's been one, just a cool way to learn more about security issues and, and make our software more secure. But two, a nice way to just, you know, meet and, and build community with hackers outside of Google. And I've been so inspired by some of these researchers. Um, one story that I love is a researcher that has, has sent us dozens of security bugs that made our products more secure, actually used the money he made to um, donate uh, to a charity that helps build schools in Ethiopia. And so it's just this really cool story of, of hacker. And sometimes people think like hackers are, are criminals, but using his knowledge to make software more secure and just like help people around the world. And in this case, build schools, which is, is really cool. And so, yeah, that's great. I'm just thinking about how uh, that translates to our business and if we just offered people money to poke holes in the stories that we're trying to tell and the scripts that we're writing. I don't feel like I have the attitude for uh, for that yet, but it's a, it's amazing uh -huh. that you all do that. And uh, and I love that it allows you to tap to not only, you know, solve the problems that you, that you're, you know, that, that, are, that exist within the software and, and find those vulnerabilities that other people within the organization might be able to see, but it does build a, it builds a community and it gives, you know, it, con it connects you to that community. And, and I think, you know, creates a sense of trust that is important. So that's, it's such a super cool program. I've read about it over the years and I'm always interested in it. And I always think about um, how hard that would be in our business.